All right, so where have I been? I'm sure you're all wondering where have I been. Well, if y'all haven't noticed, there's a bigger and bigger gap in the two options, and it's really down to two variations of the options. Either you can live in fear or you can laugh. So it's fear or laughter, fear or laughter. And this gap of collapsing the vibrations into those two levels is getting broader and broader and broader. Well, I have, you know, I'm 60 years old now. I've connected with a lot of people vibrationally on this planet. And it's kind of like undoing snarls from the ones that are going into fear. And you have to talk, untie it really, really fast. If you don't do it fast enough, the, the uh, snarls tighten up. That makes it even harder to untangle. So I've been in the really kind of untangling those vibrations for myself. And it's been really hard on my body. But I did want to come in and tell you guys. Now, I did try to tell you for a couple of years to get out of the cities and live more in nature and be careful of your food, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. For those of you that didn't make it, I'm sorry. There's part of me that wishes that I was more um, firm about it or scary about it, but I really didn't want to send anybody into fear. I really didn't. So, um, still, it's a good idea to <laughs> get out of the cities and get out into smaller groups, go horizontal instead of vertical. That's what I say. Go horizontal instead of vertical. Now, that could be red <laughs> for the dirty mind. Well, you Goodness. know, there is a baby boom coming. So. Yes, that's true. It, it has multi-levels. <clears throat> now, if you all have been looking at the big picture of this, and if you look at it from what I've talked about for years now, you'll see a trend in that Things that were running in a certain vibration of control, fear, patriarchy, somebody else in control, that all of those systems are being massively affected at one time. And the reason for this is because I told you guys, um, it's the end of the line with Gaia leaving to these other vibrations. So she tried to really make options for people to make this choice without it getting difficult but people wouldn't do it so this is her way of doing it and the uh the design of covid is pretty uh, it's pretty amazing if you could see it through my eyes i won't go into that because i'm not going to interfere with that um i don't want to interfere with Gaia. she's on a roll right now but as it stands right now um one of the bad vibrations, or not bad, but one of the vibrations that took us down to 3D was the patriarchy. So right now, it, it men are dying at this thing twice as fast as women. So uh, don't let that be the end of it. But men, got to step up into divine masculine and you'll be fine. Uh, if you're out in nature, you'll be fine. Uh, this is not built to, if she wanted to take out the human race, this, there would be a lot more death at this point. And there's not. That's not the point. The point is not to kill all humans. That's not why she did it. She did it to force people to make a decision on which vibration they wanted to live on. That's all. And she had to get rid of the vibrations on the planet or the lower end ones or force them to go elsewhere. So, nonetheless, uh, because of that, it is dealing with uh, undivine masculine, undivine feminine, cities that don't operate in balance with the planet, uh, pharmaceutical companies, insurance companies, school systems of all levels. Um, Vatican. The Vatican. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's no great big surprise about Italy, is it? Shouldn't be. If you guys have been listening to me, should not be surprising what's happening in Italy. Politics. <clears throat> oh, and politics. So all of these areas that are being really seriously affected, uh, the countries... Okay, th the way we're supposed to do things is, well, let's say what has happened. What has happened is big corporations and big businesses have collected all of the, the dollars, all of the gold, all of the dollar bills, and they kind of hold it ransom for everything. The stuff that you buy, the work that you do. And that isn't what that was. That system is set up for. The system is set up for if you 
make furniture and I grow vegetables that instead of me waiting until I've got vegetables growing to take to you for a piece of furniture, we can exchange this paper money, this other thing that says, okay, I'm going to go ahead and give you vegetables throughout the summer season and I want a bed by in six months. And that's what it was built for. And that interaction between the two people that actually provide a service or a, a product, then that has been interfered with. And that needs to stop. And a lot of the stuff that goes on in cities, especially the inner cities with the rich people, is that's uh, management of money. Well, we don't need that. You guys don't need that. You need to be able to... They are not productive. No. They're, they, they, okay, if everything goes <clears throat> crashing down, what can they do? There isn't anything that they can do. The point is that we need to get back to interacting with each other again um, and working as a team. Uh, humans are mammals. We're not insects. We're not built to live in a hive. We're built to live like every other mammal on the planet, and you need to understand that, that that is the kind of animal, animal you are, and you need to be the kind of animal that you are. Uh, you're a human being, but you're still an animal on this planet. And doing what we've been doing is not healthy, and this is the consequences of it um, via the boss lady, you know, which we, we don't argue with her. So Well, their people are, but they're losing. <laughs> they're trying to argue with her, and they will never win, and they never have, and they, the survivor people are so funny, and they go out, and they're going, I'm going to make Mother Nature my bitch, and I'm going, Pfft. And, of course, by the end of the thing, if they make it to the end of the thing, well, they most are of those apologizing. Guys last about, what, five days? Oh, e even if they make it there, I'm so sorry. I'm so mm -hmm. sorry. And that's really the respect that you should give. She knows how to deal with everything on this planet. She Be really like does. Be like a sailor. Huh? Be like a sailor. Yes. They are very, very kind. Respectful. Respect <laughs> very respectful of the planet. And there's been a lot of not. And she, she's let her do that to get to 3D, play their games. But now there's respect due the other direction as she leaves this game. So because people didn't do that, and granted, they were in 3D, it's hard to be respectful when you're in those deep dimen um, energies, frequencies. But nonetheless, it is time. So if you look at this the right way, that people are coming together like they've never come together in a very long time. Families are being forced to stay together. Uh, parents are forced to teach their children. Um, relationships have a chance to reconnect at this point. So whether you blow up your relationships or whether you forge f intensely new relationships, it's totally up to you. There's not a right way and a wrong way. There's just a way that's going to be on Gaia and a way that's going to be on an alternate planet of some sort, whether it's alternate Gaia or other planets. there is These are the two ways. But I want you guys to understand that there's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, you need to see what's going on. There's a reason for it. It's working beautifully for what it was intended for, and she is doing a fantastic job of solving a lot of problems all at once. So... Um, try to lean into that if you can. Um, if you're in a city, I don't have any, I don't know. It, um, I'm kind of watching the cities now. I can see the virus without going into the cities because I'm not going into the cities and reading anybody now. Just not doing it. Um, but I can see where the virus is. So, uh, yeah. All I can say is, well, I wish you would have listened to me over the last few years. But do the best you can. And uh, if you're in New York City, uh, <laughs> I don't have any advice for you at all. None. No <laughs> advice other than to tell, say I told you so. That's it. LA's a quick second, man. And the other ones are dropping fast. But um, the point here is things need to be different. Attitudes need to be different. Things need to be flowing a different way towards a, a different kind of game now. And uh, that's what this is all about. So try not to be upset about it. Um, we're not. Uh, Stephanie and I watched, like, 
videos and they're hilarious so you can really see the people i am enjoying are, it immensely <laughs> stephanie's having a world of fun this There's, is the best i <laughs> thought the other stuff was good this is priceless <laughs> because people are bored so they're either gonna have babies Tic in nine months or tiktok is amazing right now just so you know <laughs> so watch tiktok the reaction videos with instagram equally funny yes so there's a lot to laugh out with people not having to worry about day to day for a while and being home and bored. The creationism is like really sparking, which is again oh, excellent towards 5D because 5D is all about you creating in the instant what you want. So this this ability to fill up your time with something that you can imagine is very very important. Very, uh, very important. Another what to go say? to is hit record. Okay, yeah, hit record because they're they're doing big. Uh, all those guys, I mean, really roll into your, if you are in a city and you're stuck there, then roll into this, what can you do? What can you create? What can you make? What can you envision? Oh, I know what else I was going to tell you guys. This is really not rocket science. You don't have to, you don't have to lose all your stuff because of this. What, what needs to happen is we need to go back to the way that it was. I have driven all over this United States and there are a handful of cities and there are thousands upon thousands of little towns in this country. Thousands and thousands of little towns. I've lived half my life in small towns in the country and half my life in the cities. I know both worlds. If you are in a city, well, city or small town, but if you're in a small town, get your your town together they have town meetings all the time and when it's important they will come to a town meeting if you call them together almost all small towns have an empty building of some sort that's not being used for something find something that your people want to make grow create uh, manufacture something and build it you don't have take it away from the corporations if, if you need money then take your town, decide what you want to go into as a group, and then go get the corporate funds for it. But always keep the people as your strong point, and the corporations can, can influx the money. But if you always have control of the people, and the people always work together, corporations can never rule you. Because it's a lot easier to replace money with another corporation, especially if you're making money, than it is for them to replace people. Okay, especially now, because you can't just run to India to get more people. It, if everything's got to be made in the United States. So this is a prime time for everybody, all these small towns, thousands and thousands of them. You could manufacture, make whatever you want to, and sell it to the rest of the United States and get the money to stay here, and you can interact and control your lives more. In other words, create. Create as groups. Create as families, create as individuals, because this is the vibration of 5D. It's heading towards instant manifestation. So the more something in the world, everything in the world seems out of your control, that you have no control about, about where anything comes from, then that's far, 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 far away from instant manifestation. You've got to bring it back home so you can feel that, whether it's... Um, making a painting or whether it's making a cabinet it doesn't matter make something growing a plant uh, make something and one addendum to that if you do it during this self-isolation stuff there are video conference options to be able to do that without being in a large group there to you cause go. issues the internet is there <laughs> to keep everything going it's one of the plans part of this so you all can create new groups, new, uh, you could create all of this in this time frame. You could get a, a, a town together via conference. You could decide what you wanted. You could bring in the people to do it. There are people in the cities, trust me, that want out, uh, that are very good at their job, that have been put in a box and nobody knows how good they are. You can find them and bring them to your town and you can get the people that you want. Um, yeah, and there's usually, except in like Wyoming and Montana, <laughs> most places there's plenty of housing, but uh, you can build them houses if they need houses, right? 
you can pull this together and create something completely fresh and new. If you look at this as not the end of the world, but the beginning of a new kind of world, then it becomes very, very fascinating and fun. If you look at it, you know, if you're doing exceptionally well in the whole world and it's falling apart, I you probably aren't listening to me. <laughs> if you weren't doing so well in the old world, make this a time of really exciting times because it really is a huge step towards a better life from our standpoint. Okay, that's it for this one. Love you guys bunches. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye now.